What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Bon Inku's Rising Sun painting series. Today, we're painting up the legendary Monkey King, Gotahi, also known as Menway Bradford. To start things off, I used some Troll Blood Highlight to base coat the entire model, which I started off using a brush, but then I got tired of doing so many coats, so I pulled out the airbrush and finished it off. After that, I grabbed my medium orange wash, which I made with some De La Rowney flame orange and black inks, and applied a couple coats to all the fur, which gave it a nice brownish yellow color. Alternatively, I could have used an equal mix of Saffron Sepia and Cassandra Yellow to get a similar effect. Once that fur was nice and dry, I gave it a dry brush of ochre brown to help pick out the furry details, followed by a dry brush of hot fire. After that, I used hot orange to base coat his robes, which took two or three coats to get solid coverage. After that, I used orange fire to highlight the robes, which for most of the areas were simply coated over that hot orange, but on the bigger flatter areas, I wet blended or two brush blended it to create some smooth transitions.
After those initial highlights were complete, I grabbed some hot fire and gave that orange its final pop. By adding some edge highlights and blending into the middle of all that orange fire using some two brush blending and glazing. For those interested in learning more about how to perform these different blending methods, be sure to check out the first episode of Bond Inku's Beginner's Guide to Mini Painting, which I'll include a link to in the description below. After that, I went back to some True Blood Highlight to clean up the areas of the skin that got hit with any of those oranges and then gave that skin a wash using a one-to-one -one mix of soft tone and wash base. After that wash had fully dried, I picked out the muscles and applied some highlights using Troll Blood Highlight, followed by a one to one mix of Troll Blood Highlight and Moral White.
are then painted on his wall paint by applying two stripes of color red base, followed by some underbelly blue right in the middle. After that, I used Cygnus Yellow to base coat the front of what could have been his Super Saiyan hair and then gave it a fine highlight using a 1 to 3 mix of Cygnus Yellow and Moral White. After that, I used more white to highlight just the bottom of that yellow area, since if this were real fire, that's where the fire would be the hottest. I then base coat the rest of the hair using cotter red base, which while doing this, all I could think was, hey look, it's the McDonald's Monkey King, Ronald McTohey. After base coating all of Ronald McTonaghy's hair, I give it a wash using Army Painter's Red Tone. I then applied multiple coats of Army Painter Dark Tone which I used like a shade to gradually darken the top of the hair, blending it together at times with the layers below using a damp brush. After applying all those washes, I then went back to cut a red base and picked out some of the strands of the hair on the bottom, followed by some hot orange and then some orange fire, which really helped to make the hair pop and make it really look like some nice fire. With the hair now done, I then took some strong tone and darkened the undersides of all the skin and the ends of the tail.
After that, I dry wash the middle of the tail using Troll Blood Highlight, followed by a one tone mix of Troll Blood Highlight and Model White. Then for the staff, I use a two-tone mix of Cotter Red Beast and Thinwall Black to give it a nice base coat. I then picked out the details of the staff using various layers of dry brushing, first with Bloodstone, then with a one to one mix of Bloodstone and Moral White, then a one to one mix of Bloodstone and Cod Red Base, focus on the very tip, then Cod Red Base, Hot Orange, Orange Fire, and then finally some Hot Fire. After that, I used Theme All Black to paint that little bag on his necklace and to base coat the base. After that, I picked out all of his bling using ruler gold and then applied some highlights to the upper half of all those gold pieces using a one to one mix of ruler gold and radiant platinum and then highlight the upper half of those highlights using radiant platinum.
I'll then give that gold a wash using smoky ink and then give it a final highlight using some red and platinum to make that gold have a nice pop. After that, I use Moro White to pick out the necklace strings and then a one-to-one -one mix of Moro White and Thamo Black to hide the little bag on his necklace and then use some black to blend onto the very bottom of the bag to create a nice shadow. After that, I grabbed my box of rocks and got some small stones out and then I played around with their placement on the base. Once I figured out where I wanted the rocks, I grabbed some brown earth texture paint and applied that over all the base and then pressed the rocks into that texture paint and surrounded them a little bit with that paint to make sure that they were nice and secure. After that base had fully dried, I then used some Army Painter Strong Tone to wash the dirt. After that, I then used black to base coat the rock and then give it a dry brush of a 2 to mix of Moro White and Thamo Black followed by a dry brush of Moro White. I then finished up the rock by giving it a wash of Army Painter Dark Tone to tie it all together. I then finished off the dirt by applying a dry brush of Ochre Brown, followed by a dry brush of a one to mix of Ochre Brown and Moral White. I then finished things up by applying some tufts to the base, cleaning up the trim with some black, and then protecting it with some varnish. And there you have it guys, the Mighty Kotahi is now complete. Thank you guys for joining, hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed me trying to talk in a New Zealand accent. Be sure to like, subscribe and check out the Patreon, Facebook and Instagram pages. See you guys on the next one. Kotahi complete!
Bonjour. Out.